Welcome back. I am still on Dr. John Gottman's research on couples and conflict within relationships. Uh, as a little refresher, Dr. John Gottman is able to predict divorce with 90% accuracy after watching couples engage with one another for 10 minutes. So in a previous video, I spoke on the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Definitely check that out if you haven't already. I'm going to be not expanding on that, but moving along an adjacent line today uh, with the Gottman's magic ratio, okay? So Gottman has this idea of bids and repairs. And so when there is tension or when there is a hiccup within the relationship, um, say somebody messed up somewhere and somebody made a mistake, there needs to be bids and repairs. So bids happen when one partner approaches the other and say, hey, here's this idea this is my idea of how to move past this obstacle. So clearly something is jiving with us. Clearly something isn't working. Here's my suggestion as to how we can move past this. And sometimes that suggestion falls flat. Sometimes it's not good enough. And sometimes it works. But the repair is the process in which the suggestion made by the bid is implemented. So bids and repairs. You pitch a suggestion for how to better your relationship and then you repair it. You go through that process and you make the repairs. And in doing so, it is thought that the relationship will be that much better, that much more understanding, and a dialogue is opened up, and it shows that both partners are willing to work with one another to resolve this issue. So back to the magic ratio, back to Gottman's magic number. The ratio is five to one, okay? So for every one misdoing, for every one mistake, for every one hiccup in that relation, hiccup in that relationship. When I say hiccup, the hiccups can be more severe than just a hiccup, okay? But I'm gonna use hiccup just because it's an easy word to use. It's an easy word to fit right in there. For every one hiccup that you have in the relationship, there needs to be at least five bids attempted, okay? So after you attempt five bids, then it's easy to say, not easy to say, then it's reasonable to say, okay, well, maybe this isn't something that we can move past. Maybe we need to think on this a little bit more and come back to it. But the magic number here is five bids for every one misdoing, okay? And it's thought that should you go through with those five bids, one of those ideas, one of those ways in which you can move past this problem in the relationship will work. And if you, when you think about it, say you are the partner uh, for whom you're the one that made the mistake. You are the one that caused this, this relationship to become unsettling, okay? After you have made five attempts at repairing this relationship, after you've made those five bids, if the opposing partner has not tried to take up with one of those bids and actively tried to repair that relationship, well, then maybe that isn't the relationship that you need to be in at that point. Now, I am not a counselor. I don't know anything about relationships, but, um, but I do know how to read, and I do know that this is interesting stuff, and this is what Gottman is saying. Five bids for every one misdoing. Um, so food for thought. I'm gonna chew on that a little bit. I'm gonna work with that, but I don't know. Thought it was worth sharing. Okay, till next time.